The Vishuddha chakra is generally associated with the throat and thyroid gland, also with everything that has to do with experience and the duration of time. Thyroid nodules begin to form just like the knots within the causal body. It is almost an identical process. A knot within the causal body represents an immovable mark, which is created by the consciousness in order to restrict any type of flow, almost as if the pathway is crushed with a pair of pliers or some sort of clamp. As if showing this way that up to a particular moment we remember absolutely everything, but after that moment we won't remember a thing, because there is nothing there to remember, it's all just nasty things. This is how our consciousness creates this tight clamp in the form of a knot. An identical nodule is being projected onto the thyroid gland. Usually people who suffer from thyroid problems experience some memory issues as well. Their memory is inconsistent, certain things they vividly remember, literally minute by minute, but if you ask them to remember a different time frame, they become bewildered, astonished and very puzzled. I do not remember, almost up to having a breakdown. Their consciousness was the one who decreed for it to be this way. Perhaps their memory was full of events that not only their operative memory and the mental body, but even the subconscious together with the supraconscious, a rare occasion when they agree on something, deem necessary to be obliterated, deciding that they'd rather preserve this person's life by getting rid of this particular part of his experience, a piece of his existential volume. We will cut it out completely, wherever it takes for him to forget what happened there. In reality, they may not have been anything dramatic at all, but the person perceived his experience to be so traumatic that he chooses not to remember. Therefore, thyroidotomy, as you understand, won't impact the situation. You can't fix the issue within the causal body that simply. Hence, working with the thyroid gland means working with your subcortex, because your existential volume starts forming at the level of your causal body. The more you remember, the more significant your existential volume although it happens that a person simply gets his rights diminished. For example, someone casts a damage curse on him in order to reduce his rights. The damage curse, as a matter of fact, means diminishing of someone's rights. I'll tell you right away, the casting of a curse can't be performed just by anyone. It is a very serious ritual that may be executed only by a specialist. It is usually performed at a cemetery with the use of enchanted objects and eggs. The ritual is quite long, many rituals exist, but all of them are difficult to carry out. And you also need to have the right to do so. When a person gets his rights diminished, it usually means that the diminishing occurs because there is a reason for it, meaning that he is not without fault. In order for the damage curse to be effective and truly impact someone's right, it should target one's existential volume by reducing it, therefore by cutting down one's memory. This is when the damage curse hits precisely the causal body or in other words impacts the existential volume.